Uh, Just when you thought you had to figure out New media, new perspective Cash and boxing talk Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you Welcome, welcome to Boxing talk, we talk boxing People, we got a great show today, man We got a great show <laughs> Just when you thought you had to figure out New media, new perspective Cash and boxing talk <laughs> nah, nah, man. I'm not impressed, man. I thought Dillian White was gonna come out busting and blasting with a bombshell statement, man. What is this, Dillian? What is this, Dillian? This is type light, Dillian. It's kind of light. We need more information, man. Dudes out here are tearing down your character, man. Taking food from your table, man. Questioning your manhood, man. You got to talk up, man. I understand that Dillian don't want to look like Juggle Miller did coming out. Talk him out. He innocent. Then he may not. We may have took a drug, then he came out and told us, look, man, Anthony Joshua was too big, he's too strong. I don't want to get in the ring with him right now. I needed that unfair advantage. You see what I'm saying? He kept it funky at the end, but at the end of the day, Dillian, man, what really went on, man? I'm getting so many different reports, man, but you got to understand something. I told you, dudes, let's give Dillian the benefit of the doubt. But the benefit of the doubt in this statement is trash. I don't know what this is. I can't read it. I don't understand it. It looked like something that Shirley, Pink, Shirley Finkel put together for Sloppy Wilder. You see what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, man, I will say this. What are we waiting for? The B sample. People say, waiting for the B sample. The B sample was only going to tell us what the A sample already confirmed. You see me? You don't have to be a Dillian White hater, a Matchroom hater, a The Zone hater, a Eddie Hearn hater to feel that something is suspicious in this whole situation, right? We got Dillian changing gloves an hour prior to fighting Revest. We got Revest not being notified that the fighter that he about to get in the ring with popped dirty. Now, we understand... You know that Eddie Hearn is not obligated under the protocol of UCAP to notify Revez. We may not understand it. We may not feel that that's the right thing, but we do know these are the facts, right? But then we get the secret tapes. Dillian White, Eddie Hearn, post-fight versus Revez, right? Him and Dillian having a conversation and he not knowing that he's being recorded. I remember watching Fight Hype just, just yesterday and he was like, yo, he's suing or media outlets will be in trouble because of what they put out based on those recordings. But we clearly see or hear in the recordings that Dillian was distressed. He was talking about how he wasn't ready. He wasn't prepared. He had a lot on his mind. And it was all because of the PED uh, positive test. And Eddie Hearn was like, yo, I had a statement prepared for you. You see what I'm saying? So it was a lot going on behind the scenes. That's why Dillian came in overweight. Dillian wasn't himself. It was a lot of suspicion in his fight game that night, man. I just kept, just kept telling y'all, something ain't right with this dude. You see what I'm saying? But look, Eddie Hearn don't have the best reputation. And this situation is just going to make it even worse for him, right? I know everything has an explanation, but for him trying to explain and new information is coming out, it's going to make him look bad. Here's my point, people. We understand that Dillian White got popped for two substances. What are we waiting for the B sample for, right? The B sample was telling us that the results from the first sample is positive. That's what it is. But we all know that it's going to come back positive, point blank, period. At the end of the day, you cap can ban my boy Dillian for two to four years, maybe even eight, right? But he's still clear for the WBC. He didn't pop dirty for the WBC. So he still will be mandated to fight Deontay Wilder, point blank, period. You understand what I'm saying? Now, I know the rules don't feel good, sound good, and suspicion is over his head, but that's just how boxing is. So we got to look at it for what it is. And we can have our personal feelings, and I expect, and I want you guys to express it. But we also got to know the facts. You understand what I'm saying? Violet didn't catch him. You, you capped it. And, 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 and he will be banned from fighting in the UK, but he can always fight in the States. You understand me? If he's banned for a certain amount of time. You dig what I'm talking about? Just think of Tyson Fury when he was banned for two years. He came back. You dig what I'm saying? But you don't want to take two years off the table. You understand me? So it's going to get tougher for Dillian White moving forward. Now, in his statement, he put out nothing. It was light. He can't talk about it. I understand it, man. We're going to be... Listen... For me, I don't like cheaters. You see how I run down in the way Bully Spence? But the facts are the facts. Eddie Hearn ain't got nothing to do with what Dillian put in this system. Eddie Hearn is just being a great promoter and saying, look, I had a statement prepared for you. You feel me? Look, this is what we got to do next. And this is what I want you to put out to the public. We're going to keep it hush hush and then let the facts roll out the proper way. You understand me? Because everything you say will be used against you. And everything you say will... 
people will try to find a way to contradict it. So, but I feel bad for Dillian, man. I think he works hard, man. He's a strong competitive man. He's risen his stock. You understand me? And this just took him out of the stratosphere. I mean, people on YouTube, IG, Twitter are roasting this dude. And I don't understand the I don't understand it to the extent that people are are doing it because they're calling him all kind of names that shouldn't be based on. A test positive. Look, man, he tested positive for 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 a banned substance that that really wasn't gonna be able to give, give him no real gains. I mean, those drugs were for bodybuilders. It wasn't giving him no stamina. It wasn't giving him no cut of weight. You understand me? But a drug is a drug. You feel me? And at the end of the day, that's what it is, man. But I just want to let y'all know, facts are on the table. Now we, the media, right? You, the fan. Got to sit back and examine it for what it is and not draw your own conclusions. You see what I'm saying? And then I think anything that you say after that is real talk. You feel what I'm saying? Now, at the end of the day, Dillian, whatever you did, um, I don't believe that you did it not knowing. I don't believe you took a supplement and you didn't read the back of that supplement because every supplement had every ingredient that's in that goddamn pill or that injection. So all those theories, all those, you know, you know, trying to ex make excuses is out the window. Now, what I want you to understand is Dillian White is still mandated to fight Deontay Sloppy Wilder. He did not fail the drug test for the WBC. So whether we like it or not, whether he, you know, fell for UCAP and he's banned, he's still he's still eligible to fight for the, U the WBC. So therefore... That's going to be another story on its own. You see what I'm saying? Because now it's like Deontay Wilder going to be like, and he had more right to say, hold on, how you get banned over there, but not over here? And then he mix it up, and then the, then the truth is in the middle. But the truth is there. We got to separate it, look at it, and say, okay, I understand it. But if you don't get the truth, if you don't search for the facts, you're going to listen to the worst thing as possibly can be said about your boy Dillian White. And I don't want that to be the case, man. Because I'm, I'm, I want to piece together the truth, examine it, understand it, and say, okay, that's what it is. I got to roll with that. Because he did not get busted for the WBC. So, therefore, he's able to fight for the WBC. That's clear. Right? You kept busting him. So, you kept got their own rules. And the rules state that if we find that the B sample is positive, then he cannot fight for two, six, eight years. Point blank, period. But he always can move over to WBC. And at the end of the day, that's where the money is. Right? So, Dillian White really ain't got too much to worry about other than the fans and the people not understanding the truth and then just piggybacking off the worst thing that someone could say about him. But you rocking with your boy Casual Boxing Talk. I'm going to call it down the middle. I'm not bias on his channel you rock the best trial yeah new media new perspective this is what new media look like this is what new media look like it's all about casual box and talk just when you thought you had to figure new media new perspective casual box and talk Wanna go see the conditioner coach, the dude that be injecting the way Bully Smith with all that PEDs? Go to Dallas and go to TBS, the the, the, the fitness center. I said, okay, no problem. So you do know Spence though? I mean, I mean, you know of him? Yeah. Oh, okay. I got a little product to train with him too. Oh, okay. Cause I, I definitely got to get in the ring with Spence. I'm about to go to his gym right now. You think he over there? I don't know. I can call. Uh, call 